greeting children this is mcq based question answers from your first lesson that is the last lesson from your textbook flamingo this is for class 12 cbsc board examination students you are coming board examinations during november december all the questions will be based on mcqs so one by one we can learn each lesson the first lesson first part from the last lesson look at the questions look at the very first question viva la france became emotional evidence of monsieur hamels the four options are sadness and patriotism finality and depression nostalgia and the emotional outburst love for the school and teaching as a profession viva la france viva la france means long live france what does the emotional evidence it is an emotional evidence of sadness and patriotism of monsieur hamel that is viva la france look at the next question monsieur hamel emerges as a dash when he teaches his last lesson the options are a meek person true patriot repentant man defeated man monsieur hamel emerges as a true patriot when he teaches his last lesson not repentant repentant means remorseful feeling sorry for doing something wrong he did not do any wrong so need not repent so he is expressing true patriotism next question why does hamel blame the parents the answers are the choices are they preferred children to work in farms they were not straight they did not come to monsieur hamel's classes they did not allow the french language so the right answer is they preferred children to work in farms farms or mills farms or mills that is the reason why monsieur hamel rebukes the parents look at the next question what does the marching soldiers under the window represent the departure of hamel dawn of prussia in france freedom of france sorrow of the villages actually the marching of the prussian soldiers represents dawn of prussia in france dawn here means start start of prussia in france next question why does the author urge the reader to respect his language look at the options it is what makes you respect your countrymen it is the key to freedom you can express yourself it is unique and reflects literature and art so why does the author urge the reader to respect his language because it is the key to freedom it is the key to freedom that is what monsieur hamel says in the lesson next question what does the last lesson taught by monsieur hamel symbolize answers no more teaching of french domination of prussia learning of german loss of language and loss of freedom a clear cut answer it is not no more teaching of french it is not about domination of prussia or learning of german but loss of language and loss of freedom that is the symbol of mose hamel's last lesson look at the next question what order had come from berlin it is very famous everyone knows this answer to close the school no teach german in the schools of alsace and lorraine yes that is the answer to teach german in the schools of alsace and lorraine 
No need to go for other options. Look at the next question. What impact did the order from Berlin create in the people of Alsace? Made them angry? Second option. They protested heavily. Dindled patriotism. Surged patriotism. So one thing is very clear. When the order from Berlin came, it created a kind of patriotism in people. Whether it is dindled or surged. Dindled means diminish, reduce. Does it reduce their patriotism? No. But surge. Surge means increase. That increase their patriotism. So the right option is D. D is the right option. Next question. What was unusual about Mose Hamel's dress? Who wore clean clothes? Wore a brand new outfit? Wore clothes he wore on price days, yes. Wore traditional French clothes, no. So, either the option may be he wore, he wore Sunday clothes or the clothes he wear on price days. That is the right option. Look at the next question. What is the true significance of Mose Hamel's dress on the last day? To celebrate his final class? To get attention from his students? No. To pay tribute to the new order? Never. To display respect to the French? Yes. He comes in new dress or he comes in his special dress to respect the French language. Next question. Who asked France not to hurry to school? Who called him back? Yes. Blacksmith watcher. Black, blacksmith watcher is the answer. Next question. What was the tone of the blacksmith? Funny and anger. First option. Sarcastic and critical. Laughy and protestive. Contempt and anguish. Which tone you will select for the blacksmith? Out of these four, I think sarcastic and critical is the right option. He is a little bit sarcastic and critical. Critical about school taken for granted by the French people. So he is critical and sarcastic here. So B is the right option. Look at the next question. The last lesson story was written in which year? It was written in 1870-71. Next question. Why did Mose Hamel call the French language the most beautiful? Look at the options. Because it was the clearest and logical? Maybe. Because it was his native language? Maybe. Because people were from France? No. None of these. So the most appropriate option is because it was the clearest and logical language that is why he calls french the most beautiful language in the world it is his opinion not the opinion of the entire world or the french people it is the peculiar opinion of monsieur hamel next who occupied the back benches in the class naturally the village elders what were the things being taken for granted by people of alsace Look at this. What were the things being taken for granted? Taken for granted. If somebody takes something for granted means they never mind it because they are getting it very fluently without any difficulty. Like the electricity, power. When power is out, you will feel that I want power. But when power is there, we take it granted. We never mind it. That is taken something for granted. So what are the two things taken for granted here? Here time and school. They think that we have enough time. We can learn it tomorrow and they can go to school every day. So these are the two things being taken for granted by the people of Alsace.
Look at the next verse. Franz thinks, will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? What could this mean? So this question can be asked in several ways. Franz thinks, will they make them sing in German, even the pigeons? What could this mean? Look at the options. German would use brutal force ev over everyone? No. Harsh orders will be passed? No. When people are deprived of their essence, even the surroundings are affected? Maybe. The Germans will rob France for its language? No. So the most appropriate option from these four options is when people are deprived of their essence, even the surroundings are affected. That is the most appropriate choice for this question. Come to the next question. Mosier Hamel is introduced as a ruler wielding teacher. This demonstrated that. Ruler wielding here means ruler handling. Taking it as a tool, a ruler, a stick, he uses as a tool. So it shows that he is concerned, no, he is adamant, maybe, he is unfeeling, no, he is a hard taskmaster. Yes, it represents that he is a hard taskmaster. Wild is defined as to handle a tool or weapon or power with the skill. That is veil. Wild. Look at the next question. What was Franz banging on to enter the class as he was late? Look at this phrase, banging on. Banging on means to expect something or depend on something happening. You are waiting for something to change. You are waiting for something to happen. So what Franz was banging on to enter the class when he came for the last French class. Look at the first option. Mosey Hamel's teaching on the blackboard, commotion in the class, horses helping him sneak in, to quietly walk in when everyone was preoccupied with the participles. Why he was waiting there for? For the commotion in the class. So second option is the right one because every day he enters the class when a lot of commotion is there. So on that day also he waits there or he banks on there to make that commotion. Commotion means the noisy sound. Look at the next question. France looked for opportunities to skip the school to do what? Look at the options, work on mills, go fishing, water the plants or collect birds eggs. So the right option is collecting birds eggs. What is chauvinism in context to the chapter, the last lesson? Chauvinism, being brutally honest, a devotion for or against something based on your feelings an act of bravery, none of the above. So, chauvinism means a devotion for or against something based on your feelings. That is chauvinism. In this lesson, linguistic chauvinism is expressed. Look at the next question. What is the linguistic chauvinism in context to the chapter, the last lesson? Options. An idea that one's language is superior to that of Another, speaking nothing but truth, making use of brutally honest words. One's land is better than that of the other. No. Linguistic chauvinism means the idea that one's language is superior to that of another. Here, the inverters, the Prussians, the Germans, they wanted to give their language on the French people because they consider their language is superior than the French. So the linguistic chauvinism of the Germans is expressed in this story. Look at the next question. What does linguistic chauvinism prevail in context to the chapter, the last lesson? During debates? No. When the language is that of the ruling party? 
during lectures and seminars you know so when the language is that of the ruling party that is the linguistic chauvinism the ruling party wanted to implement their language on the people that is the context in the story look at the next question what does linguistic chauvinism refer refer to as in the chapter the last lesson imposition of one's language on others using the same language always no loving the language of others no all of the above so the linguistic chauvinism refers to imposition of one's language on others here the prussians or the germans they impose their language on the french people look at the next question what is considered to be the cultural identity of people as in the chapter the last lesson food no clothing no shelter no language the cultural identity of the last lesson is no doubt the language look at the next question why is the language the pride of the country as in the chapter the last lesson because there is a variety of it because it defines the cultural history maybe because people use it lovingly no because it conveys the message of the heart no because it defines the cultural history that is why the language the pride of the country next question which burning question does the chapter the last lesson raise imposition of a language on others freedom of expression freedom of speech all of the above so all these problems are expressed in the lesson the last lesson so the right option is all of the above imposing a language on others freedom of expression and freedom of speech next question in the chapter the last lesson will they make them sing in german even the pigeons is spoken by friends little friends will they make them sing in german even the pigeons what does this line mean from the chapter the last lesson even the birds and animals cannot force it to abandon their language maybe what forces a man to enforce a language on others maybe everyone has right to freedom of speech maybe and all of the above so the right option here is all of the above even the birds and animals can't be forced to abandon their language the line implies what forces a man to enforce language on others and everyone has a right to freedom of speech when that freedom of speech is taken away from the french people friends little friends thought like this this is the first part of the mcqs from the last lesson this is very helpful for your mcq board examination during november 2021 for more such mcq related materials subscribe the channel and press the bell icon don't forget to share the video with others thank you for watching till the end